Let us see. What is this cupboard hiding? This looks like solfege. Doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. I cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism is blocking it. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. It looks like something goes in here. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. This looks like solfege. There is probably a link with what I saw in the drawer. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. Looks like something goes in here.
that doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten. This looks like solfege. There is probably a link with what I saw in the drawer. There is bound to be a clue so I heard the sound of a mechanism being triggered. I cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism is blocking it. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. This looks like solfege. Just have to put the record on the gramophone and start it. That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step.
the middle of recording. Sorry, Betty, but it's not wise. The doctor said you should risk your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes. Betty was such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her throat? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course, she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she... Well, it's too late for all that now. It looks like this woman is single, but she has feelings for someone. She is looking so intensely at this photo. But is it really a sister that she's studying in this manner? They made the perfect couple, am I correct? Yes, in a way. She was pretty and he... Well? He's a bright man, with a promising career ahead of him. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong. Donald appeared to be very much in love with your sister. Yes, he was mad about her. Mad, you say? Being madly in love can often be destructive, and Mr. Fraser was known for being jealous, I believe. No more than average. Men are always slightly possessive, especially when they are with a pretty woman. I am not your enemy, Mademoiselle Bernard. And you are not my friend either, Mr. Poirot, sir. Yes, but your lies are not helping Mr. Fraser, or you for that matter. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Protect him? I hope you're not suggesting... That you are Fraser's accomplice? There is nothing to suggest that, at least not yet. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes, you have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man, slightly reserved too, and as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent, Betty was frightened. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying one day, one day, well, he'd commit murder. Do you think that is what happened? 
No, Mr. Poirot, I don't believe that. You yourself said he may be a recidivist madman. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine for one instant that he would hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. You've seen Fraser, Hastings. What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't home yet. Bien. Megan Barnard said he is a reserved character but with a nasty temper. We will see if this is the case. <laughs> 